Since I saw that uh, Nugget Garage got a nice forklift and they decided to show it off in their last video, I think they called it like the Power Fister 3000 or something like that, I decided to show off my far shittier forklift that I bought a few months ago and never made a video about. This thing's the smallest forklift I've got on the face of the earth. Like, look, you sit next to the engine. It's like four feet long. And it is a tow motor LT35. It's from 1953. I think that it's like 35 inches wheel to wheel is the story on it. But it weighs a lot because it's a forklift. Over here is the engine. It's a Continental flathead four-cylinder. Believe it or not, yeah, it's actually a four-cylinder in this thing. Uh, the second we bought it, it stopped running because it sheared the distributor shaft off. So I found this distributor from a Massey Harris tractor. They also use the same engine in them and ordered that up. It cost almost as much as the entire forklift did to get that. And it is different than the one that was in it. So now the side cutter won't fit on it. One day I'll make like a, a Jesse James like domed cover for that so I can put the side cover back on. And then I also gave it a tune up, wires, rewired the whole engine bay. Look at that, it's clean as shit. Give her the old fire up for you here. It's stick shift. Like this is the forward and reverse, and this is like a one and two speed trans. Why you'd ever need two, I have no idea. Here we go. Let's turn the fuel on in the sediment bowl. It's good no one left it on from last time, or all the gas would just be on the floor because the carburetor's junk. Push the clutch in. None of this shit works anymore. Oh wait, no, I think this is still the choke. Yep, choke still works, even though it's a stop button. I put this fancy key in it. Look at that. Look at the oil pressure. Hold on startup. That'll be a zero within like one minute. It even gives you this little access cover so you can see how shitty your engine is. Well, the goal is I want to put that LS in the back of my truck. Let's do it. go there's old lifty mcforkface in action you can see it's a real gem 
um, all that grinding going nowhere was trying to find the forward and reverse gears because this shifter kind of does whatever it wants. Like I think that's reverse, but it just moves. Like that's not even, there we go. It's not even moving gears. So look, I can go past, I can go back. It's only forward and reverse. So you gotta, gotta find it. And I had the idle set way too high or else it stalls. So when the idle's real high, this like decoupler thing here after the clutch just keeps spinning and making the gears go on, uh, grind. There's the clutch there. Starter just like goes the opposite way and fires into the flywheel. But yep, this is the peak of forklift right here. Hey Nugget Garage, to thank you for your uh, donation to the Barra Project. We decided to give you the same uh, secret to power off the, the Barra Granada here, which is this shitty Volvo Turbo from the junkyard. You can see there's quite a few to choose from. A whole uh, truck company scrapped their fleet here in the local junkyard. They went bankrupt. Where are these? A, a, a billet HX52, right? Yep. So you can see listen, this. listen how quiet it is. Ding, ding. You, you can hear the bees in it being ground up. So yeah, you can see how much uh, power you can make with one of these. This is, a, this is a good turbo. You can see it's brand new. Volvo hull set. It's going to smash it off of here. And maybe if you're lucky, there'll still be four uh, new studs in the turbo for you to mount it with. Yeah. Here goes a 12.1 liter Volvo. I don't know, I guess it's a six cylinder diesel. He's, he's going to pre-lube it for shipping for you. Look at that, like brand new. Yeah, it's good now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a dream. And I know uh, Chris is all hot and bothered over this nice Firebird I got. So I figure I would send you some, you know, so you can keep yourself company here. Let's see. There we go. That should give you the full experience. Well, here's the box, uh, ready to ship off to Australia. This bill should be good. It included the uh, nice precision turbo here, Pens standard issue Pennsylvania license plate, uh, the Firebird parts, some fine bags of Pennsylvania brown water from Wawa. I got you regular and pumpkin spice. I'm not even sure if pumpkin spice is a thing in Australia, but you can sample the finest uh, basicness from the USA in the fall. So I'm going to try and cram all this into this freaking box and send her out later today. So this should see you in probably three to six months. But we're interested to see what you can do with this fine unit here over in Australia. See how we do it here in the U.S.